Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. This morning we're going to have some honeydew in our smoothie. And also I'm going to show you the ceiling. I've decided that we don't need to paint it. And uh, Mr. Bucky's the first one that looked at it and said, I don't think you need to repaint that ceiling. So I guess when I was looking at it before, some of it was still maybe wet. And, uh, but it does, it looks fine. And I'm also going to show you the uh, dinosaur kale seeds have sprouted. Actually, they sprouted a little too quick and they got a little spindly, so I had to quickly move them outside. But anyway, we'll go out there and look at them. But first, let's go ahead and get this smoothie going. All right, so I've already cut up the honeydew and one of those ginger gold apples baby greens which I already washed and they're ready to go and I've got one <clears throat> one more after this of those large um, navel oranges and really there's more juice in this orange than there is in this orange this one was over a dollar for just one this was 37 cents, so this one definitely has more juice. And this is the Valencia that have seeds, so, and it's not the Valencia navel orange. All right, so, we're ready to get started. So, I'm thinking the honeydew, of course, has a lot of, of uh, moisture in it, so I'm hoping I can get all this stuff in this morning. Using quinoa. This is carrot pulp, coconut pulp, and almond butter. And these two together make the milk. And I do this instead of buying almond milk and coconut milk and all that. So it's the almond butter, two cubes of that, and two cubes of the coconut pulp, two of the date, two dates to sweeten it. Then I've got cream of wheat, one little thing of barley, and of course two of the quinoa. So I'm going to go ahead and dump those in. They're still frozen pretty much because I noticed that our smoothies weren't quite as cold as they've been being. So this morning I decided to let them be frozen. I just took them out a little while ago. Alright, so now also, I found out a way to do my bananas, thanks to Patrick. Um, and all I do is I'm going to cut one end of them off. Now, they're completely thawed out. So I'm cutting the top end off. I'm going to squeeze this little bit of banana out of them. And the way that I don't have to uh, get my hands all messed up, I just squeeze the whole thing out. Hold the bottom of it and it comes right out, and I don't have to uh, take care of any of those strings. So, hold the bottom of it. Can y'all see that? It just comes right out. Boom. Works great. All right, so now we're going to put the uh, orange in. I do cut around that orange, getting a lot of that pulp out. Yeah, I was surprised that the smaller orange it actually has more juice than these larger ones. I mean, who would have thought that? But one thing, the skin on the uh, smaller ones is not as thick as on these oranges. All right, now I've got a whole bowl of stuff to see if I can get in there. So I'm going to have to mash that down. Yeah, and it worked out real well. I think it was on Saturday that I had a whole 64 ounces of smoothie and we uh, saved two of the small glasses back and that actually became our lunch. And it worked out really well because we both had a lot of energy all day long. All right, so we're ready to see if this is going to mix up here. We put just a little bit of water in it this morning. Let me turn this up so y'all can see. Just a little bit of water, maybe half a cup. We're going to see if that's going to work. All right, here we go. Got a 
lot of frozen stuff still in there. So here we go. So that worked out really well. Mmm. Delicious. All right. Let me do that a little more here. save that back and we'll have that uh, probably about 12 or so and see if we can make this our lunch too today which would be great all right so here we go let's give it a try okay the dominant taste is the uh, honeydew who would have ever thought that I wouldn't have that's what I taste honeydew and banana It's very good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour these, pour the rest of this into two smaller glasses, put it in the refrigerator, and we're going to go ahead and uh, have our smoothie, take our vitamins and all, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the uh, ceiling and we'll go out and look at the uh, dinosaur kale that sprouted. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I wanted to show you all the ceiling. It looks pretty good. Mr. Bucky was right. I don't think I need to paint that, and uh, also the wall looks pretty good, so I'm probably not going to paint that either, and uh, so I think we're done with the kitchen as far as paint goes. Now, the little edge around there is where the sheetrock was put up, because there used to be a soffit, I think you call it, up above those cabinets, and I wanted that down, you know. You know, because up there is where all the, uh, um, well, you can't see because I'm filming into the light there, where all the uh, plumbing is up there from the upstairs bathrooms. So anyway, yeah, I think it looks pretty darn good. So it's not the white, white like ceiling paint would be, because actually the cabinets are a little whiter than that. But anyway, there it is. All right, let's go out and look at the uh, dinosaur kale sprouted. All right, there's the dinosaur uh, kale all sprouted. That one, I got three or four seeds in there that shouldn't be in there. But there it is, and it sprouted in actually two days, and the reason it looks kind of spindly is because it was in my dining room and had no sun. So, there's the other. Yeah, so all sprouted, and I think it looks just a little spindly. But anyway, we're going to go with this and uh, leave them outside for a while. All right, we will see y'all next time.